Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here, I Judge iPods, and today is Monday, November 9th, 2009, and today I have um, the review tier for you guys of the Extreme Mac Verona Sleeve from iQuip.com. Um, their link will be in, I want to say, no, it's that way, iQuip.com, it'll be over there, the link, if you want to go and check them out. Um, but really quickly, I want to give a shout out to iPod Reviewer 09, iPod Reviewer 09. Um, his channel link will also be in the video description if you're interested go ahead and check him out subscribe if you like what he's doing I believe he has a giveaway going on right now, so make sure you go ahead and check that out as well and um, Let's go ahead guys and get straight on into this new setup <sighs> Alright guys, so what's up? I have a review too for you guys of the Verona sleeve, like I said. But really quickly, uh, if you guys didn't notice, I got a different, um, like, kind of, I guess you guys can say, setup. Um, I have now this, like, little desk thingy right here where if you guys are following me on Twitter, you know that it's got cabinets and all that jazz. It's got all my cases in there. I got my mini fridge underneath here. I got another one on that side and gum and tape and all my stuff here. So I'm going to be doing the majority of my videos here for now on. It's a much larger space to do it on. Um, I'll be doing a lot of my unboxing on here. My Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Prestige Edition. I'll be doing that unboxing here tonight on this or tomorrow morning um, right here because there's a lot of room. So um, it'll look a lot better. This is, um, it's like, what time is it? It's like almost 9 o'clock right now I think. Um, so the lighting isn't going to be that great. I just have one overhead light right there just chilling out. Um, but in the daytime, the window is right there, so the lighting is going to be much, much better. It's going to come through. It's going to be a lot more natural light than this um, really bright artificial light. So expect better quality videos view status or viewpoint wise, okay? So without any more of me talking, let's just open this case right up. Like I said, it is available on iQuip.com on their website for $29.95. Um, this case is made by Extreme Mac, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, it's actually a very high quality, very nice case. I've never gotten anything from Extreme Mac except for this. Um, and they do take care of you. They do give you the screen protector and the quick instructions on how to install it. They call it their Tough Shield. Okay, so I'll pack that back up and just throw it over here. And then you have the case right here, which I think is an awesome type of hybrid kind of case. That's what I'm kind of wanting to think of it as. Um, because it is leather, it is a leather case, it's a Verona sleeve. Um, but it's also got some rubber mixed in, and it's pretty hard too. You guys, let's see if you guys can hear this. So it's actually a really tough built case that's definitely extreme with the name Extreme Mac. So it's definitely got some extreme durability to it. Um, this case, you guys can see the leather is very thick. This case will add a lot of bulk to your iPod, but it kind of makes it feel more sturdy, makes you kind of feel a little bit more protective of your iPod, that you know your iPod is going to be in good hands and it's not going to um, get damaged while in this case. So that's this case kind of gives you a nice little feel of security. So I'm going to take my iPod out of the iFrogs Lux, in case you guys are wondering what case that is. Place that right there. And just let me go over a couple of things on the case really quickly itself. On the interior of this case, you have the nice little almost felt lining, uh, very nice soft material in there um, with the little design right there along with the Extreme Mac right there. Um, on the bottom, you have a little niche for the home button. You have leather surrounding the whole entire case. Very nice leather, very high quality, very smooth leather. Uh, we'll go ahead and flip it over to the back. And you can, can kind of see how it's like a black leather here on the front. You go ahead and flip it over to the back. See if you guys can kind of see the contrast right there. It's more of a gray leather on the back. I'm not exactly sure why they did that. Um, it might have been a better better if this gray was a little bit of a darker shade and not so much that much of a difference. Maybe if it was um, just a little bit uh, darker than this, it would have been perfect. Um, but color, not that big of a deal. Uh, then you have this little rubber piece here on the back. I'm not exactly sure what this is for. I was looking all over. Um, I'm not really sure because on the back of the case, it just says the um, strong reinforced construction, the tough shield, and the thin form-fitting genuine leather design. So I'm not exactly sure what uh, this le this excuse me not leather this low rubber piece right here is for it is rubber you guys should see well hopefully you'll be able to see that that is rubber um and you see the kind of the grease coming from my fingers so i'm not exactly sure why they did that um my idea my thought is what i found out while i think they might have done this is if you have like on a wood surface or like a glass surface it kind of doesn't want to move you guys can see that it makes like little inches like that 
I'm pushing down on the case, it's not going to want to move. So if it was just like the leather, you can see I push it around, it's going to go wherever it wants to. But that little rubber piece kind of stops it from moving around and all that. So I think it's maybe um, used as almost like a stopper for the case or maybe to absorb some shock. Um, so not the leather is just taking the brunt of the shock, so some of that um, rubber is actually taking the shock as well. So that's just my idea on why that's there in case some of you guys are wondering like I am. But my opinion I don't know 100% why but I think it's a pretty cool idea um, when you're holding the case you definitely like I said you have a really great sense of security that little rubber piece kind of gives a little bit more grip too on the um, of the case itself so let's go ahead and throw in the iPod Okay, take the iPod Touch 2G right here all you have to do boom slide it in there um, you'll feel past this one point See if I can just get this out. You'll feel it'll be hard to push in right all the way here. That's what she said. It'll be hard to push in. And then once you get to here, it'll just slide right in. Um, that's kind of a good thing when you're putting it in. But when you're trying to take the iPod out or maybe you're holding it upside down, you'll feel it. It'll come out that much um, to that point where it was sliding in. But it won't slide any further out than that. You guys can see that's not coming out past that. So that's kind of like a little smooth point right there. I guess that's where the curve meets the regular part of the case. But... Um, you don't really have to worry about your iPod falling fully out of this case. So once your iPod is in here, you definitely have much more bulk. It makes your iPod much thicker, but you shouldn't really have to worry about that because this case is going to give you some awesome feel, some awesome texture, some awesome design, along with some really, really great protection. Uh, on the bottom here, you have your open dock. You can go ahead and sync charge, and your headphone port is easily accessible. Um, let's see, on the side here, you have your volume rockers very nicely cut out. You have more than enough room to access them along with the power button, more than enough room to access that, nicely cut out with this little back piece right here. And on this side, obviously, there is no thing. Um, on the front here, your bezel is completely covered by this nice little leather um, outline. It's a very nice quality leather, guys. This Verona sleeve um, definitely smells like genuine leather, so it is high quality. You can definitely trust this to withstand a couple things. Um, going in and out of your pocket being one of them, sitting it down on surfaces, a lot of that. Um, so it's the leather itself is going to hold up very nicely. Um, you guys can see that humongous lip you have around this, so you really don't have to have any worries about putting your iPod or um, having your iPod fall face down because I guarantee I don't I don't want to say guarantee, but most of the time I bet that this little lip will take the brunt of the damage and not your screen. Hopefully, I'm not guaranteeing that. I'm taking that back. I didn't say that, but I'm just letting you guys know that my opinion is that I think this lip is a little really really great little um little add-on to the case itself um there's not much more i could say about this case other than it feels great adds a lot of bulk to your ipod you guys can see it makes it a lot thicker but you're kind of trading looks with protection so it really really um will help your ipod out from a drop i'm gonna say from maybe your pocket maybe a little bit above your pocket because it is very thick very shock absorbent um and if you're looking for a protective pretty decent nice looking case this is the case you need to go and check out Check it out, the low countdown to Modern Warfare 2. Um, it's a great case. It's, like I said, $29.95. Would I purchase this case? Yeah, I would purchase this case, guys. Because it has the great feel, smell, and texture of the leather. And then it also comes back and hits you with the protection of the case as well. So definitely go and check this out at their website. Link in the video description. I quip. I want to thank them for hooking me up with this case, this product for review. Um, not much more I could say about it, guys. It's a wonderful case. It gets the job done and looks great at the same time. Only down side is the bulk that it adds but thanks for watching this review guys i will catch you all in the next video make sure to check out all the links in the sidebar follow me on twitter check out the shout out check out the website and everything else that is down there so i will catch you all in the next video favorite comment rate subscribe let me know what you think of the new setup you might be seeing a lot of shadows but during the day when i'm going to do most of my reviews um this sunlight will be coming in not so much giving so much shadow like this one light over here is so thanks for watching guys i'll catch you all later favorite comment rate subscribe make sure to rate the video and i will see you all later in my next video. Oh, peace.